In a world full of calamities and danger, humans need superheroes more than ever. There are superheroes who keep our world moving and changing in some pretty amazing ways. Let's meet one of them, Wendy Weathering. I'm Wendy Weathering and I love to break things down. I wear weight and change landforms, break down rocks into smaller pieces, and power the rock cycle. My superpowers are physical, chemical, and biological weathering can crush a boulder into soil and wear away the face of time. Wendy Weathering is an amazing force in our world, but her powers become ever stronger when combined with the strengths of her best friend, Erin Erosion. I'm Erin Erosion and I love to move weather materials around. My superpowers of wind, water, and glacial ice take the messes my partner makes and create them into new landforms. I command the wind, waves, and gravity to take all this weather material and deposit it somewhere else. That's all very dramatic. Could you maybe bring it down a couple of notches? Because I have a science test Friday and I keep confusing weathering with erosion. Sure. Okay. okay. Let's have a snack while we talk about the different kinds of weathering there are in the world. First, there's physical weathering. When I shake these sugar cubes in this jar, it's like what nature does to rocks. Friction breaks down rocks, chipping off their edges and sharp corners. That world of material started out as big rocks, but become smaller pebbles, gravel, dirt, and dust that makes up soil. Then it's my turn. Just look at all that powdery, dusty mess. It's got to go. Hey, I wanted some of that. Let's try something else. Since we don't have a thousand years, I found something a little softer than rock to demonstrate on. Here, hold this, but don't lick it. This is a great way to show you the power of water in weathering. Check it out. The water has worn away the parts of the lollipop that it's hitting. That friction from the wind and water carrying sand formed amazing stone landforms like Antelope Canyon and Horseshoe Bend in Utah. Even better, the water worked for both of us. After it wore through the lollipop, it carried the dissolved sugar away and deposited it somewhere else. Teamwork! High five! So weathering and erosion sometimes happen at the same time? That's right. My weathering breaks things down, and my erosion moves them off somewhere else. Whoa, wait, I didn't get any! Thank you. Weathering breaks things down, and erosion carries them off somewhere else. So now do you get it? Do you think you can remember weathering and erosion now? I think so. Maybe we should review one more time. Weathering happens when rocks are broken down into smaller pieces by physical, chemical, and biological forces. I wear weight and change landforms, break down rocks into smaller pieces, and power the rock cycle. And erosion happens when when? Water and glacial ice take all that smashed up sediment to create new landforms. Hold on everyone, here comes double trouble. My superpowers of wind, water, and glacial ice take the messes my partner makes and create them into new landforms. Yes, I don't get any of that either. <laughs> oh yeah, you do. Here's a nice sediment salad for you. All the stuff we weathered and eroded it today. Uh, I don't think I'm hungry anymore. Good luck on your test. 